So what is up guys, American Abroad here. Actually, I'm in America right now, so I guess I'm not American Abroad, I'm just American. So, right, this is my buddy I do most of my motorcycle trips with, and uh, we always have great fun. We've just been killing it here in the States. We've been going out on the boat, wake surfing, wakeboarding the last couple days, and it's just been so much fun. So I'll show you some footage here in just a minute. But uh, just wanted to show you his bike that he's kind of loaned me for the next couple of days so that I can kind of ride while I'm here and enjoy. It's exactly the same bike as mine, except for it's the Adventure model. Uh, he's got a few extra mods on his as well. But um, he does have the Denali lights, which I am I just ordered the CanSmart for. So I'm going to be taking that back to the States with me. I've already got the CanSmarts back home. Of course, he's got the additional auxiliary lights. Um, but yeah, so this is a 2019 R1250GS uh, exclusive. So it's got this beautiful green color. Absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite colors that the GS did. Uh, other than that, it's basically the same bike. Um, he's got the Trekker Outback cases. So really, really nice. And then right here is actually what's called a pillion pooch. Um, he's got this thing. So if you guys are looking to ride with your dogs, uh, that is something that he put on the back. He actually puts a full size standard poodle in that thing uh, and rides with it. He doesn't really do it anymore because the dog's just too big. But if you are looking for something, that is kind of a, a cool thing to have. Okay, so something I wanted to talk about real quick, I was also borrowing his wife's Arai because I am, I actually just ordered an XD4, so it should be here. Let me adjust this camera just a bit. So the XD4 should be here uh, tomorrow. So I did two day shipping from Revzilla, awesome actually. Um, I found it cheaper somewhere else online. They price matched it, dropped a hundred bucks off that thing. And uh, yeah, so I got the XD4, it's on the way. Um, also they have the RPM points membership. You pay for that, you get free two day shipping. So I am a member of that now. So got free two day shipping, so I'm excited for that. But I tried her Arai, this is an open face Arai. And um, I'm not quite sure the model of this. It's a SZ something, I don't know. But um, got the beak on there. It's actually really comfortable when I was riding with this thing. I will say that on the Arai helmets, I find that I'm going down a size. So I'm normally a medium, I'm going down to a small. So that's, that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at these helmets. And this thing's been great. Uh, just riding in the dark last night. And uh, as you can see, it was a bit different mounting the Cinna on there. But yeah, it's a great helmet and I really enjoyed it in the heat. It's nice to have that open face. Of course, your chin is exposed. If you crash, it's not great, but it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it's a little heavy, but you know, it's an Orion. It's great quality. So if you're looking for kind of an open face helmet and you just want something that's got absolutely incredible quality, this is a great helmet for you. So definitely give it a check out. Okay guys, so just got the XD4 in a little bit ago and I'm really, really excited about it. This thing is just looking incredible. I mean, look at how aggressive that is. It looks like, you know, a great mix between on-road and off-road. And I've been waiting for this helmet for so long. I've really been wanting it. I have the Scorpion EXO R1 Air and it's a great helmet. It's a carbon. I love it. It's super light, but man, I've just always, always wanted an Arai and I love this helmet. Um, did order it from Revzilla. Funny enough on the plane ride here uh, from Portugal I actually sat next to a girl from Revzilla she was one of their uh, mark uh, I guess she was acquisitions or something she collected partners but really really cool she was just coming from Mojave Desert or something I don't know she they had just done a ride over there so she was talking about the event they just had and I thought that was so awesome so we basically talked bikes the entire time it was really really cool um, Anyways, I've gotten a couple of Farkles from Revzilla. While I'm here, I always try and pick up some parts because I like Revzilla. So the biggest thing I was just talking to you guys about is the Arai. And of course, man, this helmet bag, when you pull it out of the box, the helmet bag is just exquisite. Like you can just really tell. This bag looks like something you'd pull off of, I don't know, like the Ferrari of helmets or something. I mean, it's just really, really plush. And um, yeah, I wanted the white. Of course, I like to stand out and I wanted something cool for the summer. So this thing is great. It's got a ton of ventilation up front. You've got two vents here and then two uh, vents that I guess the wind can blow through. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's incredible. I love this helmet. Uh, like I talked about before, I do have to go down into a small in the Arai, which is really strange for me because normally I'm a medium in everything, but in the Arai's, I had to go down to a small. 
the the medium just felt like I had too much, it felt good everywhere, except for it felt like I had too much space like in a bubble right around my ears. And I just felt like that kind of space around my cheek and my ear just had a ton of space and I had too much wiggle room and even in the back it didn't seal right. So um, when I went down to the small, I think this is the best fitting helmet I've ever owned in my entire life. I mean, trying this on, it's just absolutely incredible. I haven't even taken the film off of the front of the helmet, but I literally just got this. So yeah, it, it's great. You've got this big old vent in the front um, and man, I'm so excited to actually be able to ride this helmet and um, and give you guys some more in-depth reviews on it. Right now, I'm just basically giving you a run around of what the helmet looks like and the fact that I got the helmet. I do love that a ride, this thing's super easy to adjust. You can just literally move it up and down and adjust it. And then they've done something really smart in this visor is they've put this little black um, kind of a protector here, I don't know what you call it, sticker, so that you don't in get any extra glare off of the white of the helmet or whatever. Um, you know, it keeps that glare off there, so it's one less reflective surface glaring onto your face while you're riding. Um, you've got a ton of view out of this, this um, you know, I guess screen here you are, visor. And as you close the lens, that's what it is, the lens, it does lock. I know some people are like, oh, it's a bit noisy, that doesn't lock, but you know, I'm really excited about it. I think it's a great helmet, um, and I'm really, really pumped to get to ride it, and it, it just fits me so well. The helmet feels small. You know, they've got three different shell sizes that this comes in. If you don't know, a lot of companies cheap out. They only do one or two shell sizes, and then they just do fatter or skinnier um, padding to, you know, to make it easy for other people to get into the helmet. And it's also cheaper for the manufacturer because then they only do one shell size. Well, Arai does three shell sizes in this helmet and it just makes it really nice fit. So you don't have this, these pads inside, a ton of padding and then a, a huge helmet and you look like a bobblehead going down the road. So really excited about this. I always wanted a more adventure style helmet. So I'm really, really pumped. And I did just get in the Denali Can Smart system. So really pumped to put this on my bike and actually get my D4s installed. I had them on the Triumph Tiger. I just haven't gotten around to getting the Can Smart. I wanted to buy a couple other things first, but now I've bought this. So I'm excited to put that on the bike and get the D4s on there working and going. So yeah, really really pumped guys excited to be here in the states for a couple weeks uh, just been killing it going out on the lakes and stuff and and going boating gonna go out again this weekend for Memorial Day I'm sure a lot of you guys are doing the same but while I'm here I always like to pick up some goodies and this has been definitely a great trip for that so let me know your thoughts of the Arai XD4 down below if you have any thoughts um, of course I haven't ridden with it yet but I'm really uh, excited to do that anyways so that's it for now uh, I've got some side cases on the way and I'll give you guys some more info as we get closer. Other than that, throw something in the comments. Thanks for joining in and we'll see you guys on the pavement.